25, 30 years later, George Cabin came through, and you know, it's, it's really established. Like it's, it's not true, you know. Bob Bodden was, was dead long, and so this is what I love to study about his, because of, he incorporates a lot of things that people don't understand. You see the face paintings, the markings. These are different warrior societies that used to exist. For our women, they belong to different guilds. And so one thing he was after with was, remember I was telling you there's 11 um, different designs that coincide with our buffalo robes. And so this one, she's actually wearing what we call a box and border design. And so this tells of the status of the woman because she's actually married. And so only married women are allowed to wear these box and border designs. We put this, we incorporate the border, we call this the situ. We're, we're encasing the memory of that four-legged and we're telling stories. And so the box is right on the opposite side of this. And all it is is a huge box, but in there there's squiggly lines, there's all kinds of stuff because it explains the intestines, everything inside of that four-legged. But once again, only the married women are allowed to wear these. The way that we braid our hair, we, we put um, face paints on. My granddaughter, Jazzy, just went through a ceremony in which we call the Anishinaabe, Awachi Olowaki. And so this is to, to go off and sing and be by yourself because now she's turning into a young woman. And so this is when the menstrual cycles, all of these things start to happen. And so long ago, when you're 13, 14, this is when you were married off, you know? That was common practice. And so, for her, when she comes out, when she dances or goes to Paul's, she has the right now, because she went through this four-day ceremony, to paint her forehead and to paint right down part of her hair, this red stripe that goes down. And so when she came out, she wears this big old eagle plume that I tied up for her and put on medicine wheels. And she wears it on this side because when we dance clockwise, all the grandmas that know about our way of life know that she went through that ceremony because of this face paint and because she has the right to wear this plume hanging out. 